back to the 14 Tomcat. Over the past two days we've done a lot of snow shoveling and we've got a little bit more detail work done. Uh, starting up here at the front you can see we've got our panel around our NACA ducts put in place. We've also got a couple of the panels here on the gun blisters and then we've actually got the gun blinking plug itself in there. A little diff difficult items to do. The front one here was fairly simple. It's pretty much a constant taper from the back to the front of it so it's fairly simple getting back into this one it was oh again it was kind of it's a constant taper there this part here is actually a compound curve so we haven't started doing it yet probably have to take it to an English wheel and have that one formed out that way or we'll do a rubber stamp method like we did with the NACA ducks this one once again we had to kneel it you can see the the color difference between it and the one in front of it you can also kind of see the the pattern of the fiberglass weave under it just a lot of work will go into that once we actually mold it that should come out in the painting process so it won't be won't be noticeable plus I got the forward lower panel in place just in front of the gear doors gear doors would we haven't done yet we do have them the actual panels cut out here we just haven't placed them because of these two vents that we've actually got to figure out some way of making that detail visible Working our way back on the airplane, we've got a couple more of the little panels on the sponsor areas put in place. And we've gotten a lot more on the actual aft side of the fuselage done. The back is getting there. It's Overall, the airplane is probably about 40% complete and detailing with about 400% to go. You see we've got these little tabs sticking up. These will actually overlap onto this panel here, just like these are. That way it'll kind of give the idea of a, a latch, a latching, a latching mechanism like on the full scale. Again, pretty much the same thing on the other side. We've just been slowly working our way on getting the detailing done. If any of you guys are wondering exactly how we uh, have gone about getting all these panel lines and all these details put on, we've got a book from Deco Publications which is called Uncovering the F-14 Tomcat. Very, very good book. People, of, I believe, is also the same book that, or the company that publishes it as the B1 book that Bob has. I'll bring that out here shortly. If you're wondering just how many panels we've done, here's the stack of templates. This is from the very beginning when we started working on the tail. There's probably well over 600 templates in here for just the airplane. And these are all traced off the actual airplane just using regular tracing paper cut out by hand with either a pair of scissors or the paper cutter. Then it's all transferred onto the litho, litho plate and then all put on there. You can see a couple panels that we have pre-made that are almost ready to be put in place. So a lot of stuff, to, a lot of work to get to just putting a panel on. This is actually what we're using for putting the panels on. It's 3M Scotch Weld 1300L. It says a high performance rubber and gasket adhesive. We actually use this at work to install the de-ice boots on the leading edges of our King Air 90s and 200s. So if it can withstand that, they should have no problem holding these panels on. See a bunch of scrap stuff, tracing paper. Here's a nose cone. Actually, I chopped the front of it off because it just wasn't wasn't the right outline. So I decided to redo that. As far as detailing actually goes into, kind of come back and I'll zoom in. You see here we've actually, you can see kind of a the zigzag type pattern in both it and the one in the front. It's actually just replicating a piano hinge on the full scale. What I did to actually make that is I just took a piece of rectangular brass tubing then I just cut a corner off of it and as I was going down through there I would just put it in place, tap it with a hammer, flip it over, tap it with a hammer, flip it over again, tap it with a hammer and just go through that the whole way going down through the down the line that I wanted until we were complete for things like our rivets and screws and little access but we just took screwdrivers and brass tubes kind of shaped them to how we needed it we got another one here with a Phillips head screwdriver in there and then for those Calfax fasteners I was talking about earlier we just took an Allen wrench stuck it in a brass tube and you can see it just barely sticks out above it that way it'll actually put more of the uh, the island portion 
of the fastener into the aluminum than the actual brass tube. It just shows up a little bit better that way. But that's pretty much where we're at. Just slowly working away getting this thing knocked out. So we shall see y'all next time in the shop.